Ozempic is designed to mimic the action of the body's natural GLP-1 hormone which is released from the intestine after a meal. In early 60s, scientists made an interesting observation. They gave glucose to two subjects. One received glucose by the oral route and the other received glucose intravenously. Despite both having the same blood glucose levels, the person who took glucose orally released much more insulin than the person who received it intravenously. This observation made it clear that glucose itself was not the only only signal to secrete insulin from pancreas. Something from the gut was being released after oral intake which was telling the pancreas to secrete additional insulin. This phenomenon was later named the incretin effect. Incre mean increase, tin means insulin. So incretin means gut hormones that increase insulin secretion after eating. In the early 80s, researchers while studying the proglucagon gene found that proglucagon gene in the pancreas produces glucagon. But this same gene in the intestine produces a different hormone and they name this hormone which is produced by intestine a glucagon-like peptide 1 or GLP-1 and they found that this is the hormone released from the intestine when we take glucose orally. It then travels to the pancreas and stimulates the release of insulin and this discovery explained why oral glucose produces a stronger insulin response than intravenous glucose even at the same blood glucose levels. Once GLP-1 was discovered, scientists immediately immediately saw its potential for the management of type 2 diabetes. Researchers were excited. However, they quickly ran into a major limitation. Natural GLP-1 is extremely short-lived. It is rapidly broken down within 1 to 2 minutes by an enzyme called dipeptidyl peptidase 4. The breakthrough came in the 1990s from an unexpected source, the Gila monster, a desert lizard. They discovered a GLP-1-like hormone in its saliva called Exendin-4. Exendin-4 was special because it was resistant to degradation by DPP-4, making it long-acting and biologically powerful. This discovery led to the development of the first GLP-1 receptor agonist drug, exenatide, which received FDA approval in the early 2000s and marked the birth of this drug class. Later, scientists developed human-like GLP-1 analogs with longer half-lives, allowing once-weekly dosing, stronger appetite suppression and additional cardiovascular benefits. Ozempic or semaglutide belongs to this class.